I'm Father Bill Foucault from Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles. I first got involved with SIGAP in uh, 2002 when I was asked to be a faculty mentor for, the, uh, for our Cal Chi uh, chapter. I really knew nothing about fraternities. Uh, I had entered the Jesuits right out of high school, so didn't have a chance to get to know fraternities. So it was, a, it was quite a mystery to me. I'm certainly grateful that my first real experience of a fraternity was, was SIGAP because I was so impressed with the young men who were uh, in the fraternity. Some very difficult things happening to some of the members of uh, family members dying unexpectedly, really deep personal problems. And the way I saw the men rally around one another and have one another's back so impressed me that I said, I, I really would welcome being a part of this. These are, these are men I'd like to get to know. I think my role in SIGAP has been to be a safe place you know, you're dealing with men at the most formative period of their life. I mean, ages 18 to 22, so much is happening in, in men's life. And by American standards, men of that age do not share too much. I found that my role is, is to give them a safe place where they can tell me what they're really thinking and feeling. And they know it's, it's safe. Uh, we can talk about it. And um, the relationships can sometimes grow very deep that way. I, I think if I can help at all to be a sounding board for uh, all that is happening in young men's lives at that, that period, it's, uh, it's, it's a good thing. What's been good for me is it's kept me relatively young, uh, at least in spirit. I, I have the, the wonderful privilege of seeing people through undergraduate years, and now I see them afterwards getting jobs, getting married, and um, I see them going someplace in their life, they're doing things. And what that does is it keeps telling me over and over is that my life is not finished yet either. I have things to do. Many people are kind of set in their ways at that thing. These guys won't let me be set in my ways. They're constantly challenging me to explore new possibilities, to look at new avenues, to learn something new, to do something new. And uh, for me, that's been a very exciting thing. They let me share in their own journeys. And uh, for me, that's a wonderful growth experience. Uh, some education uh, is simply head to head. You know, what's in my head, I'll pass on to your head. I think of the essence of Jesuit education is it's heart to heart, it's person to person. And uh, our, our system of education is very interested in the, in the whole person, uh, not just intellect, but also emotions, one's uh, regard for, for society, for the needy. Uh, we talk about uh, making uh, our, our men, men for, men for and, and with others. And uh, that just fits so naturally into what is the Balanced Man program of the, of the fraternity. During the years of having surgery, I had uh, started with cancer of the eye, which was emotionally devastating uh, because it took, in one fell swoop, I lost everything I do. I couldn't read, I couldn't teach, I, I could barely see for over a year. Then within another year, I had uh, kidney cancer and I had seven major surgeries. Uh, I've seen people, especially in my age and in my context, say this is the beginning of the end and to kind of withdraw. The, uh, our chapter, the men of our chapter were so extraordinary, they would not let me withdraw. They insisted on being with me in the hospital and uh, they slept on the floor of the hospital. They kept me involved with what it means to be a human being and, and they would not allow me to be isolated. They would be with me and we talk about, uh, we talk about what's important about life and it made them open to talk about their lives as well. And we talk about love, we talk about what it means not to love, uh, what's important, what is not important. An interesting thing is we uh, became very physical, is that in our chapter we're huggers. When we pass one another on the road, we're huggers. The idea of physical contact is to make us realize that we're there for one another became very important. It was not just symbolic, it was very, it was very practical and meaningful. And that's, that's filtered down through our chapter, is that uh, it's become, as I say, a, a deep recognition that, that we, we love one another and we have one another's back no matter what happens. I do believe very strongly in the power of, uh, of brotherly love. And we have beautiful ideals in our fraternity of, of brotherly love and uh, virtue and diligence. What that means is it's not just a formula that, that structures us. It's something we genuinely trust will happen. We trust that brotherly love will happen with us and will have its effect. And that if we have grow in virtue and diligence, it will achieve it, it, its goal. So it's not just a formula, it's a reality, it's something we do, uh, it's something we believe in its power, and as a matter of fact, it happens.